Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to talk about the Olympus CX41 microscope. This is an excellent microscope. This one's set up for pathology use and uh, it's going to a new Mohs surgeon, I think in Minnesota. Um, but um, anyway, we're just going to go over it really quick. So they wanted to keep their ergonomics and meet their budget. Um, they, their budget was $3,500 or less, so we were able to meet the budget and come in below the budget. Um, but they want to keep a tilting head. So this head right here is a, a great ergonomic tilting head. So it'll be really comfortable for the user. Interpupillary distance moves very nicely, tilts up and down. Usually a CX will come with a 10X by 20 millimeter field of view, but you can put the 10X by 22 millimeter field of view eyepieces on there. So we did that. Um, we're gonna show you how to take the head off three millimeter Allen wrench will be included in the shipment. Loosen that up. The head comes right off. When you put it back on, when you're assembling this flange goes under these two little uh, notches, always hold the head while you tighten the screw and then give it a little wiggle to make sure everything's tight. See, it's still a little loose. So you want to make sure it's nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten it, but make sure it's snug and not moving before you remove your hand. Let's set this off to the side. This right here is where you would put the analyzer. If you decided you needed an analyzer in this microscope, you can also put a UGAN in here if you needed to do um, Congo Red or Gout. You have a five place nose piece, 2X, 4X, 10X, 20X, and 40X. Right-handed stage. If you wanna push the side with your fingers, you can take the stage clip off, push it around, this is a 2.5 millimeter screw hole right here. Mike, show that screw. So you would just take this screw out and take this screw out, and then the slide holder would come right off. All right, we're gonna move on with the stage up. We're gonna lower the condenser. It's this screw right here, loosens the condenser. So whenever you get a CX, if you wanna put a 2X on there, you have to have this lens. CX-LA, it snaps in the bottom. You might see a cassette style condenser. It's gonna have uh, another position out here like this and you can slide it back and forth and it'll have a, a diaphragm built into one side. Uh, that, that part, you know, I like this one better. It, it's a lot easier to use for the pathologist. They don't really like sliding the cassette back and forth. We have a blue filter, which will filter out the light. This is a didenium filter. Mike, show that hue right there. See how it's really yellow? I don't know if you can kind of see it on yeah, the camera. It's blue on the camera. Yeah, it looks kind of blue. I'm gonna cut it up, see if you can kind of tell. And then watch when I move this over. It looks a lot more blue, but it just trust me, it, it'll filter it out. When you're looking through the microscope, it'll be a yellow orange hue, but you put this filter in, it'll be nice, crisp, and white. So a couple little housekeeping things. This is the brake. So you can set the brake so you can't, you can only go so high. See how we can't go past that point and you can hear the brake release. So if you ever can't focus past a certain point, a lot of times that brake might be set. Right here is your tension ring. So if you ever notice the microscope moving, this fine focus knob moving without you touching it, it's likely that the tension has been accidentally backed off. You just put a flathead screwdriver or a wrench in this notch right here and turn it towards the wall and it'll correct that issue. So you just kind of put it in there and push. This is your rheostat, it turns the light up and down. And this is your on and off switch. So we're gonna show you one other thing on this microscope. Uh, make sure the microscope's unplugged. This is a six volt, 30 watt bulb. Before you turn it on the back, I always make sure you take the blue filter out. That would have been bad. But turn it up on its back like this. And then this little trap door right here is how you change the bulb. Six volt, 30 watt bulb. You would uh, grab that with a chem wipe. Never touch it when it's hot. And then never touch the bulb when you put a new one in. Hold it with a chem wipe or hold it with the wrapper of the, the bulb that you're putting in. And you know pull that out put the new bulb in and that'll likely fix your issue if you have no light. So we're gonna put the scope back together just to help for whenever you receive it. So the condenser may be out. 
We're gonna slide it up in there, tighten that screw, raise the condenser to the top position. We're gonna put the filter back on and then the head. Very simple. This is a nice little microscope. Um, we sold this one to meet the customer's budget and uh, it was a great alternative for the customer. They were interested in a BX. They decided to go with this for strictly budget reasons. If you um, are interested in this microscope or have any questions about this microscope, always feel free to email us, info at mondaymicroscope.com. That's Monday with a U. You can purchase this scope or any other microscope that you're interested in at microscopemarketplace.com. That's our e-commerce platform. And if this video brought you value, please like and subscribe. Thanks.